Good morning, you guys. So this video, I am going to try my best not to be emotional. Um, but I feel like it's so important to talk about. Okay, maybe I will be emotional because I feel it already. Um, it's so important to talk about because no one talks about it. And I think it needs to be addressed. Um, and especially for women that has had losses such as myself um, and the kind of losses I've had. So, um, starting in my second trimester, I really struggled um, with depression um, and anxiety. And now that I am in my 22 weeks of pregnancy, all the emotions from Willow is is building. Um, there's times where I wake up from a nightmare because I'm reliving her her birth and her story. Um, and it's so hard. Um, because I feel like the ball's just gonna drop at any time with him. Um, and it's like the scariest thing anybody could ever go through. Even though everybody's reassuring me that he's, he's healthy and he's good and, um, I've just... I'm just waiting for that ball to drop, ultimately. Um, and then Josh has been very distant. And I'm trying to cope with that because he's going through, I guess, his own stuff. And like I'm trying. I just wish he would talk to me about it because he doesn't understand what I'm going through. Um, and then Johanna also is going through her own stuff. Um, I don't want to put her business out there, but some things in her life has come to fruition for her. Um, and so she's she's starting to see a counselor for her, her, her issues and what she's going through as a teenager. And so I also have decided to seek therapy because if I'm this sad now, I feel like I won't be able to be the best mom I can for him when he's born. And that's ultimately my biggest fear. I literally cry every day. There's some days I just don't even want to get out of bed. I haven't been maintaining my house. It's hard. Like, and it's real. And I just feel so helpless and I don't know what to do. So I talked to my OB um, who sent me to this place um, called a day hospital, which is primarily for postpartum and pregnant women um, with um, depression, anxiety, things like that. So I went for an evaluation and... Um, Ultimately, my options was to go on meds, be part of their two-week inpatient program, um, and or to get forwarded to a counselor to work through what I'm going through, to see whichever fit, best fit for me. Um, so I chose not to go through the day hospital because, first of all, work and then my house my home life, my family. Um, also, I also chose not to go on meds, even though I do feel like meds would help me. Um, and it might be an option after I deliver. But the side effects to the medication is just not what I'm willing to risk. Because even though she said it'd be a 0.01% a chance 
I would be that zero one percent chance that what are that was it point zero one percent that would be me that would be him and that the issue would be him having trouble breathing when he's born and if he's premature as it is because now I have hypertension like and something happened to him at birth I could never never forgive myself knowing that I was on medication to make me feel better in the run and then and in turn I harmed him and ultimately something tragic happened to him because of it I could never never forgive myself for that so I opted not to take the medicine so I am seeing a counselor I've only gone to two visits um like so I really can't tell you if it's helping or not um we've talked we talk about things beyond the pregnancy um you know, it, and it's just because a lot of stuff is like building up and it's just getting to be a lot. But it's honestly no joke. Like it's some serious depression that's going on with me and I feel alone and that I have no one because no one understands what I'm going through and what I'm dealing with. They try to but they don't and I'm just tired and tired of being so sad like I'm tired of not being able to motivate myself and being too fearful to to actually start his nursery like I'm about to be 23 weeks pregnant and we haven't done nothing to his room nothing it is literally a catch-all I know I you guys are gonna say oh you have time you have time I do have time but that time is flying by I mean, my baby shower is in like five weeks and I don't even have a room ready for any of the stuff that we're about to get. It's just, there's just so much to do and the time is just flying by. I mean, we're two weeks away from Christmas, you know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of anxiety. And I just wanted to come on here and talk about it because it's real and it's it happens and people don't talk about it and I think it's important to talk about it especially when you've had previous losses whether it's miscarriages stillbirths you know whatever you know chromosomal things I've dealt with all three I have literally dealt with all three and it's heartbreaking and it's something that apparently I've never gotten over you can't get over it. Those are your kids. Those are your children. And now you, you're here bringing in another life. And you're just sitting here waiting for something bad to happen because that's all you're used to. That's an awful feeling. But that is reality and that is my life. And a lot of people don't understand because they say, oh, he's doing so great. He's perfect. Like... There's nothing wrong with him. But in my head, it's like, yeah, nothing wrong with him now. Because there was nothing wrong with the other ones until there was. And now I'm at the point in my pregnancy where if something does go wrong, I do have to deliver him just like I delivered Willow and the twins. Like, I will have, I will have to deliver him. That's the point I'm at now. And it's terrifying and it's scary and my fear and my anxiety and my depression is very valid and sometimes I feel like people make me feel like it's not but it is and it's okay to feel the way you feel so I'm just gonna leave you with that I just wanted to let you guys know the good the bad and the ugly and this is the sad and ugly and the fearful and everything else that comes with it. And so if you're feeling this way, just know you're not alone. Even when you feel you're alone, you're not. And I just got to remind myself of that. And I have a great support system between my family and my friends. And I could not ask for anything better. But sometimes, sometimes that's just not enough. It's just not. And it's awful. But... 
you just got to make the best of it. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to seek the help now before he comes. And I ultimately feel worse. So that's the update this week, you guys. Have a great day.